2022 March Cheesesteak Madness, the judges bracket, New Jersey and Delaware region first round action, Amato Brothers versus Donkey's Place. You'll see in the video that we ate our Donkey's Cheesesteak at Donkey's Place in Camden. Then we took our Amato Brothers Cheesesteak to Tonewood Brewing in Oakland, New Jersey, where we ate it and then did our judging. All right, we got uh, Amato Brothers. Oh, son, son's killing me. And I was, uh, I was chatting and drinking beer, so uh, most of the judges are eating. Amigo Dan taking his nose, catching up on Donkey. New judge Bruce. Any, uh, any 40,000 foot view? Okay. Amato Brothers, nice and Yeah, I thought Amato Brothers had a nice cheese to steak ratio. The roll was was nice. I didn't think it would be that good when I saw it come out of the wrapper. In all fairness, it was wrapped up. I view this as a good like lunch cheese steak because it wasn't really big. Um, it was a third of it. Yeah, but I mean, I could have eaten that whole thing for lunch and still went able to go back to work. Um, as opposed to like other places we've been who are, who are giant and I pretty much would have been on the couch afterwards. So I think all in all, it's a good lunch cheese steak. It, it was very tasty. Um, the onions were very good and I could taste the mushrooms. So yeah, I think it was a good, good, good solid lunch cheese steak. I kind of agree with Ken. I thought it was a good lunch uh, cheese steak. I, I like the, uh, the mushrooms on there. Um, I thought they gave the sandwich a little zip. Uh, you know, definitely a good sandwich. It's a good anytime cheese steak, not just lunch or dinner. Um, Come on, you could eat good, three of them. I could, easily. Um, good cheese, um, cheese meat balance. It wasn't, uh, you know, overwhelming either, either way. But the onions were real good. Kind of tasted a little sweetness in the onions. And the mushrooms were obviously fresh, not canned, because there were some nice big chunks in there. So, very, very good. Nice. Oh. I'm not judging, but greasy, but in a good way. <laughs> Donkey's Place, Camden, New Jersey. A bucket list place for every cheesesteak lover. Not sure which ones to buy. I think that was your first, uh, actually this is your first time. Second time? Second time. What do you think? Good sandwich. I'm still wrapping my head around the whole round roll and the way it's constructed. That's my... How excited are you to sit next to me again? Very excited. Yeah. He's a legend. <laughs> Ken? Hold that, please. <laughs> well, for starters, I'm also very excited to be with Amigo Dan today, the legend in the cheesesteak world. I think that my first impression is the round roll is a little bit different. It almost strikes me more as like a roast beef sandwich as opposed to a cheesesteak. But I have to say, it's uh, very delicious. I like the poppy seed roll. I like the onions. Uh, the onions are very good, and there's a lot of cheese. So my first impression is very good of them. Nice. March Cheesesteak Madness, live from Tonewood Brewing in Oakland. March Cheesesteak Madness, New Jersey, Delaware region. First round, Amato Brothers versus Donkey's Place. Can you look at your rated dog? All right, Donkey's was a good solid sandwich. Um, again, I think Donkey's came off to me as more of almost a steamship roast beef kind of sandwich on a very delicious roll. Love the onions, cheese mix, very, very tasty, nice soft roll. Um, Amato Brothers was more of a traditional type cheese steak. Nice roll, great mushrooms. Uh, as John mentioned before, fresh mushrooms, nice onions, good Cooper Sharp mix in that. I think at the end of the day, I would have to pick... Uh... We'll do that in a minute. Okay. John, what do you think? Um, for me, the uh, the Donkeys is an excellent sandwich. It's a really good sandwich. Again, it doesn't fit my mold of a traditional cheesesteak. I like things mixed a little bit. 
you know, cheese, onions, meat all, all combined there. It's, it's kind of layered. And I have a hard time with a round roll just because it's hard to contain the whole sandwich. Amato's, on the other hand, I thought um, the roll was good. It was a little, little softer than I liked, but it, but it worked. Um, meat had great flavor. Onions were a little on the sweet side. The mushrooms were fabulous. So Amato's was, was a good sandwich. Uh, Two good contenders. Very good. Yeah, I agree. Two great contenders here. Uh, donkeys, uh, I really love the sandwich. Uh, I, I love the, the round roll. I thought that was very unique. Uh, I like how hot the meat was on the sandwich. It was amazingly hot from the beginning to the last bite. Uh, Amadeo Brothers, uh, Amato Brothers rather, uh, did a great job. The roll was good. The meat was good. I like the flavor of the onions and the mushrooms were excellent. So, excellent work. Tough match, huh? Yeah, this is tough actually. Um, <clears throat> both good contenders in different ways. Uh, everybody knows about donkeys with the round seated roll and the type of meat they use. And the Motto Brothers, um, like everybody else said, you have to agree. It's a good standard cheesesteak. Uh, so it's going to be really tough. Jeff, glad to have you here, but you didn't have I didn't have both. You, you had to work, you have a job, so. Yeah, sorry for working. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, who is it? Who moves on? Amato Brothers. Amato yeah. Brothers. Amato Brothers. Oh, you know me. Um, even though I didn't think Donkeys was the best I, of the Donkeys I've ever had, <clears throat> I think it just ekes out a little bit. There's something about that mm, that onion and cheese uh, and the roll that just does it for me. Three to one, Donkeys moves on. I mean, three to one, Amato Brothers moves on. Luckily, we have editing. Upset. Okay. <laughs>